Hello Floss Tubers, it's me Silvia from Becky's Land. Welcome to my first tube video number eight. I'm so thrilled that you came back, that you uh, want to be with me today and if you're someone who just found my channel, I'm happy to see you here and I hope you all enjoyed a little bit being with me today and I hope you like what I would like to show you today. So, how have you all been? How are you? I hope you all had a good stitchy week and a good week so far. My stitchy week was kind of good. I stitched a little bit and uh, finished uh, some pieces and FFO'd them. So, yeah, I'm good with my uh, stitchy week. So, today I think we are going to be blue <laughs> because it's January, it's the end of January and uh, January has become a blue month for me. Uh, since um, the past years I always decorate with a lot of snowman and a lot of blue because after Christmas is red for me and Halloween a lot of orange. Um, I need a, a color that calms everything a little bit down, if that makes any sense. But, um, and I like the color blue, so you, you may have noticed I'm wearing a lot of blue, kind of blue, yeah. Not always, <laughs> I like different colors, but anyway, babbling. Babbling once again. <laughs> so, um, yeah, today I would like to show you my January uh, pin cushions and at the very end of this video I um, will insert a, a photo of my decorated basket and my tiny table that's January decorated. january -ish decorated. So, but before we jump into my uh, stitchy stuff and cushions and anyway um, I wanted to go into some of my comments. I had a comment and someone said she was thinking that I only do smalls. Yeah maybe in my last video with my bigger Q-snap some of you got confused. <laughs> maybe, I don't know. Um, yes I still do smalls and I always will be because I love doing smalls and I yeah I love everything small. Um, it's just that um, yeah I kind of enjoy it doing a little bit larger piece. It's not that large so it it's yeah, don't even mention it because it's not a large piece what I'm doing. It just needs a little bit more time. And um, since I'm not a fast stitcher, it takes maybe a little bit more time than it would take you. But that doesn't matter because as long as I enjoy the stitching part, that's fine with me. And um, yeah, I enjoy it. And my f first really larger piece is the piece from Lizzie Kate, the Six Fat Man. So, and I enjoy stitching them. And everything I showed you in my last video, um, I'm not sure if I ever gonna stitch one of those pieces. I just would like to stitch them. And um, I think once I get uh, a good framer, I will stitch a larger piece that needs to be framed for one reason and somehow yeah I enjoy it stitching on that larger Q-snap and um, seeing how the six fat men come along and yeah I don't know what else to say I still do smalls I have a plan for February and already a plan for March um, but yeah, in between, maybe I'm doing a bigger, larger piece. Yeah, 
we will see. But don't worry, I will show you always small pieces. Not always, that's I can't promise, but I will show you smalls as we go this year. So the second one, um, there were a, lo a lot of comments that said, um, don't be so hard on yourself, you are too critical, or uh, don't sell yourself too short. Okay, you all are right, and I'm learning that. I'm learning to be more pleased with myself and to be more pleased with my stitchy stuff and my finishes and um, yeah it's hard to explain because I don't want to get too much into details otherwise I would go into tears right now um, let's just say it's the way I was raised that's the way I grew up nothing what I did was ever good enough and at some point you believe that and um, yeah so that's my life just not confident enough that what I do is good enough and um, I'm learning to accept me and uh, what I'm doing so and uh, you floss tubers a lot of you and your lovely comments, I always say that you have no idea how much it means to me and that's the reason because um, you encourage me to do, to go on and the saying, I said it last, in my last video I believe and it's from Lizzie Kate, never give up, make it happen, that's my motto right now and I'm working on that. So. Yeah, maybe someday you will hear me say, oh, I'm so pleased how it turned out. Maybe, someday. Let's work on that, okay? And then uh, the last uh, thing I wanted to say, um, Kathleen uh, mentioned that um, she said she uh, would like to meet and have some tea and or coffee or whatever and chat. Oh, Kathleen, I so very much would like to meet you and uh, some of the ladies and sit and chat and stitch and whatever drink. Um, yeah, it's sometimes it feels like I already know you. Not all of you, but some of you, because watching you on Flosstube, it's like having friends in, in, in my house and when you say something like, oh yeah, the story about the needle minder. Um, and I had to laugh because I never needed a needle minder. I always did good without a needle minder. And now it's, it's funny when I don't have a needle minder on my piece to lay my needle down. I think, oh, something's missing. What's wrong? Oh yeah, <laughs> there is no needle minder. So I kind of got used to uh, having a needle minder on my stitchy piece and um, what I also do and that's kind of a side note I, I really enjoy doing my working copy underneath the needle minder so the magnet holds my chart my yeah my chart and uh, so it's so easy to work because I have the chart right in front of me yeah discover that with my six fat men so I learned so much from, from you and um, yeah, okay, it would be easier and really, really, really nice um, to see you face to face and talk to you face to face. But um, yeah, I, I just enjoy watching you ladies and what you're talking and what you're showing and mm, I'm in love with Floss Tubers. So. Okay, can we go on now? I'm having not a good hair today. Uh, I want to let my hair grow and it's so hard to get it longer. So I apologize for not looking so good today with my hair. No, uh, I don't look good. No, don't sell yourself short. I look good. Okay. 
So, uh, wanna get started? Should we? Shall we? Yes, I think so. So, January. I would like to start with my older pin cushions I did the last years. And I would like to start with a design from Bend Creek. It's um, a series um, snappers, something like that. And I did the January snapper. And as you can see, I didn't put on snappers. I put on uh, tiny buttons I had in my button stash. So. It is stitched on Belfast in 2013 and I stitched it with DMC floss. I made a little hanger, that's the back, and you can see that. Just a second, maybe it's working. I have a little wreath there, there on my sewing machine. And that's where this one hangs. Yeah, that's the first one. It isn't, um, it doesn't have interfacing. It's one of my first, I didn't use interfacing at that time. So the next one, I did a freebie in 2014. Um, I call her Luli, Lulai. Um, I did this freebie from her, those, yeah, it's, for me it's kind of a January motive. So we have those birds right now in our garden and some red berries. I like this, um, this is Soot, Soot, so o -O S O O T from uh, Gentle Up Sampler Threads. And the red, um, the berries are in Buckeye Scarlet. Yeah, and I turned it into that kind of cushion, like uh, my crow from from Threadwork Primitives. I already had one like this with the fabric on the side and the rickrack on top. Uh, put on a little charm. Back. And I have it not on my table, I have it on a different spot in, in our living room. Uh, yeah, and then I stitched um, in 2014 in general. Oh, oh my god, no, I stitched it twice and once one I gave away. So, okay. And the second one I stitched in January 16, so that's the reason. It's from Little House Needleworks, the series Sheep Virtues, and I stitched it on Belfast Vintage Mocha Linen with DMC, and I have it decorated in a separate basket, like I showed you with my centers. I still have left in the Christmas balls like like red balls because I like that it is red. I still have the little scissor, the primitive scissor in there. And um, the cushion itself, um, yeah, is stitched on Belfast linen, vintage mocha, and the original chart has in this corner a poinsettia button but i didn't like that for me it was too yeah too big kind of too big and i i don't remember it's i think it's from the santa's village um series from country cottage needleworks the button from the tree farm i used and sewed that on i like it better have a little heart on my sheep and that's the back and it's without interfacing I wanted to have oh wanted to have that a little bit more fluffy so and I think it looks nice so was it that way or was it that way I think so yeah hmm. like it 
So, what's next? Yes, then um, we started in January 2015. I stitched it in January and finished it and fully finished it in January. It's um, my Lizzie Kate Flip It Bits series. I showed you, I think, the December and did I show you the December? I think so. Um, the tail really don't look good. Um, and that's the January. So it's stitched on Belfast linen flax. I'm sorry. Um, and used the cord for threads. Um, Gentle Arts, Weak Style Works, and DMC. I can't put my finger on it which one is one, but yeah. And the uh, Flip It Bit series always comes with the uh, little buttons, with tiny little buttons. But I didn't want to put on the little buttons, so I changed and put on some of my buttons I had in my button stash because I, I yeah, I ki kind of like the together-ish color. So I put on a little lace. I sewed on. It's sewn on. Um, I sewed on the chiffon ribbon. Yeah, I think it's it looks good. And that's the back. So you see, blue. <laughs> it's blue. It's January. It's blue with a little bit of pink. Yeah. Oh, and I, the um, eyes are done in French nuts. Yeah. So that's it for that. And then uh, what else? I I sh I think I showed you this one already in my last video, but it's on my table right now. It is from Lizzie Kate, the Flip It, no, the Six Fat Men, I'm sorry, I apologize, the Six uh, Fat Men, and I made it into a cushion because I wanted to make each one individually as a cushion. And I had one, uh, two or three of my videos before, one in my comment who says uh, she did all the um, mm, uh, Lizzie Kate snowman uh, individually as cushions and when I read that I remembered I think I saw that on her blog it's Karen's handiwork and I think I got inspired uh, on her with her pin cushions she showed on her blog and that's why I wanted to make them individually. Um, if you're interested, go check out this blog. It's, uh, she, she's doing beautiful stitchy pieces and I already um, have spotted something else I would like to do like she did. So it might, I think she inspired me to do the um, series in individual cushions, but uh, now I'm doing them all together. But it's fine to have them on display on my table. Yeah, and that's the back. So I have to leave that out. It's stitched on cashew linen uh, with DMC, called for DMC. So then the next one I did, I'm sorry, um, it's a little bit way behind. Another Lizzie Kate, it seems to be that I'm in love with Lizzie Kate. Yeah, I am in love with Lizzie Kate. Um, those are cute designs, but I think I'm in love with so many other others. Mm. I don't want to start and name them all. There are so many beautiful designs out there and I have um, a few that I'm in love with. Lizzie Kate is one of them. 
Let's put it like that. Um, it's um, friends. It's stitched on casual flax linen with um, thread as listed. My note says threads as listed, but I haven't listed them. So I think they are over dies. <coughs> Excuse me, excuse me. And then I just wrapped around uh, some twine, put on a little heart. I didn't want the heart on on here. I, yeah. So it's blue again. It's stitched in uh, January, finished in January, and fully finished in January, 2016. Okay, so what's next? Then I have one I think I showed you already in my last video. It's from Country, Country Cottage Needleworks. It's the Frosty Forest season and I wanted to do all of them as individual pin cushions. Um, that's the one I did and yeah. It's nice, but now, as I told you before, I'm thinking about doing one uh, larger piece. So I have this on my display, not on my table, but on display. It is stitched in January 2014 and finished in March 16. It's Belfast linen. Uh, it's the gray what's what's the name of the gray mm, not uh, earl gray <laughs> earl gray is a tea right <laughs> earl gray is a tea <laughs> but you know the called for uh, linen and with um, dms now with overdyed mm -hmm. bad notes bad bad notes a lot of things are missing on that notes so this I showed you too, very quick. That's on my table too. The pin heap, I'm so happy with. I'm so, so happy with, I love it, I love it, I love it. But I wanted to show it because it's blue, 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 blue. Yeah. So that was it for my older ones. And now we can go into my 2017 finishes, right? Yes, right. So let's see. I started this on December 15th in 2016. I showed you the progress. I did this. I started this, that one twice because I didn't like the 36 count or 35 count. So I changed into... Um, 32 count and I finished the stitching on December 31 and I finished this one on January 15 in 2017. So this is my very first FFO for 2017. I don't like it and I don't sell myself short. I just don't like it because Somehow, I don't know, it's a little bit bumpy and yeah, I don't know what I did wrong, something. I did something wrong, but yeah, and that's the back. Blue again. I, it's like um, a primitive blue. It's like a primitive blue. I like it. Something on it. Yeah, so I like it. Um, then... I stitched, did I show you the stitching start progress? I don't remember. I started this one on January 2nd, my first start in January 2017. And I finished it on January 7th and FFO'd it on January 20th in 2017. That's my January. It's from Lizzie Kate. 
It's um, from the stamp series. It's stitched on Kesha linen flax with uh, the recommended overdyed. And the stamp series also comes with um, little buttons, but I didn't want them uh, because I wanted to put on a little snowflake charm, as you can see. Yeah. So I saw on a little white fabric, I uh, sewed on the brickwork inside and have this red fabric on top made a little bow and this is um, a bow this is a, a bow a ribbon um, when you have a package uh, a gift package so that's why you can make it curly so oops that's the bow You can see today I'm, I'm not so good in doing a video. I'm um, a little bit, I don't know, um, I haven't slept tonight, so yeah, not so good. But anywho, um, I don't want to do the February, it has the heart. I don't like that heart. I have to figure something out. Um, with the colors for the heart, but not this year. I'm already um, put out the March. I will stitch the March. But before I stitch the March, I need to stitch one cushion for February. Um, yeah. Thin since I'm having um, already three or four cushions for every month, I don't have that much pressure anymore. So if I don't stitch something for February, it's fine because I already have uh, cushions for February and my basket and my table. And I could focus on my six fat men, but I will tell you about that later. So, and this one is, um, I stitched it, this was a very quick decision, unexpected. Um, it's from the uh, uh, Just Cross Stitch magazine, the ornament issue, holiday 2016. And I did this little guy, snowman, right? And blue, and blue for January, it has to be blue. I stitched it on January 15th and um, finished it on 18th and fully finished it on 20th of January 2017. And it's stitched on Belfast linen. It was a little leftover from, I think from the Christmas carols. I don't remember exactly. So it is a little bit coffee stained. And this is what I did. Um, I needed a little red bird, so I didn't all the blue birds like it's charted. I'm sorry, it's not focusing. Can you see that? So I think you know the chart. Um, it was too much blue for my taste, so um, yeah, I put on some red birds and I didn't put on beads I made French knots instead of the beads and I changed the nose uh, on the chart it has a brown a brown nose and I want to have a orange nose so and that's how I finished it put in the rick rack and fabric and then I made this kind of bow, let's see. So I had two with dots, little icy blue, and then I put a pin on top of it. Let's see if I can get it out. See, that's a little pin. Yeah. So 
nothing glued. I sewed on the, the bow and then I placed the pin in it. So and that's the bag. Blue again. I like it. I really like it. It's funny. Makes me smile. Makes me happy. So I have in January two two starts and finishes. And I have in January 2017 three FFOs. Not bad. What do you think? Not bad. Yeah, I think it's good. So that was it. Uh, let's see my work in progress. Just uh, quick because at some point you are going to get tired of seeing the six snowmen. The six fat men, that's what I did. I did complete this one. Yeah. I, the last time you saw it, I had the border here and I had just one row of white stitches. So, yeah, I did the snowman complete and the border and the um, wording and I finished the wording on top here I was the last time I was uh, I think I was here and I finished the rest of the wording yeah so and now I only have to do let me just get this this one That's my last one I need to do. And for this one, as you can see, once again, the head is um, yellow. And I didn't like that. Um, so I made the head once again um, blue. But when I stitched the blue on this one, I use DMC and the C DMC um, you can see better the difference between the dark blue and the light blue and it didn't happen you can barely see the stripes in here and there was no difference between this blue and this blue so I cheated a little bit I Oh, let me see if I can explain it. I started this and then I frogged several times to uh, try out what I want to do. And then I used one strand of this lighter blue and one strand of white and stitched them together. So that's why it is noticeable. Maybe I, I will put out this one line and make it once again to have it a little bit darker so you can see the difference. I'm not sure yet. And I haven't decided on the snowflakes because on the chart and on my pin cushion it's too much. I don't like that much snowflakes. I, I'm not sure. I will decide on that when I'm done with the part on here. And I didn't uh, stitch the snowflakes in the head. Can you see that here? On my cushion I stitched the snowflakes in here and here I didn't because um, I didn't like that on my cushion. Um, either I would have stitched four snowflakes and leave leave off the button button or like I would like to do right now have it plain blue and just put on a little button the snowflake button so that's yeah oh and I did the owl eyes the eyes for the owl but something is not right there um, something is going wrong here. I don't know what. Um, 
have to check on that but the owl has eyes now but it doesn't look good on camera have to check that yeah so and I forgot to tell you last time that I did the tree twice and I did some of some part of the house twice because I made the house bigger I wanted to have one more floor so I stitched and stitched and stitched and then when it came to the smoke I uh, something something's wrong so and then I counted and then I hmm, counted tree and I miscounted on the tree so I had to frog out part of the tree and stitch it again yeah that's why I'm a slow stitcher I frog yeah I frog I could have managed somehow the tree not to frog it but yeah it's me that's me I always would know there is a mistake in the tree so yeah and you know what I like I saw that yesterday what I like can you I like it that the snow is going from here and it has a line so I never noticed that just until yesterday I like that if you if it would hadn't if it didn't have a border it so it would have been connected here yeah I like it very much I, I really like it and then there is something else maybe some of you remember me complaining about the whitewash and I complained that I ordered whitewash and I ordered again and it was different again and blah 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 hmm first of all I can't see any difference so it's not that bad that the whitewash I used here was different than the whitewash from Weak Style Works I used here so but then it came at some point I thought maybe it's not the first one uh, maybe it's not the new one I bought it's the first one that's different and I'm sure most of you were thinking exactly the same it's not the new one I bought that were different it's the old one I used that was different so yeah it takes me a while <laughs> to get the, to this point but yeah so I love it I still love it and now um, I will take a little break from this one I want to get it finished because bef um, before this is, is finished I won't stitch any other thing new as a large piece first I need to finish this and then I can, can go on with another larger piece but I, I pause this now uh, and stitch a small one. I would like to stitch a small one for February. Um, haven't figured that out. Um, I have a freebie from a Primitive Betty. Uh, I think it is from Primitive Betty. I would like to stitch just a second. And since this, this is a freebie and it is on her website, I can show it to you very quick. Um, it's Oh Sweet Valentine. And I also would like to stitch, but this might be a little bit, uh, take a little bit longer than just a few days uh, from Not Forgotten Farm. That's a freebie too, so I can show it to you. Um, and maybe I have uh, one from Lizzie Kate from her um, Jingles series. There is a love one. I, I'm not sure yet. I haven't decided on that. So it's one or the other okay so I think that's it oh yeah and then there is uh, Lizzie Kate has released a new series I would so very much like to stitch the love for February but it's not available in, Jan uh, in Germany right now so I it'll have to wait till next February I guess yeah, I love that series very much. Beautiful. I would like or I will buy every chart except for the March because the March looks like one I already have. So, yeah. Oh, 
I need to. <laughs> okay, that's it for today. And it's already again 40 minutes. You know what's funny? When I start my video, I sit in front of the camera and talk like someone on the news, some news lady, very, very strength, very uh, straight, very concentrated on what I have to say. And at the end, I don't find an end. I can't stop myself talking. I'm talking and talking and talking. Yeah, that's what was it for today. I hope you enjoyed it a little bit and I will uh, put down at the end a photo of my basket and my table decoration. Would like to say goodbye with my little snowman I made myself. Before I started cross stitching I was into uh, decorative uh, wood and ceramic painting and I'm so sad that I had put this guy back in the black box and he has to wait until next year, next winter to come out of the black box. Yeah. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for liking, for commenting, for subscribing and I hope to see you again soon. Have a good stitchy week. Take good care of yourself. Bye.